G'day and welcome to the all new Skoda Octavia RS. I should actually come clean here. This is, yes, a review, but it's also a bit of a test drive because you see the Summerfield family already owned the last model RS Octavia. We've been waiting and waiting for this car to arrive at Giltrap Skoda. And look, I know the world's gone SUV crazy and there is an RS version of the Kodiak, but I reckon this, the Octavia RS, is still the hero, at least for me, of the Skoda family. With the new RS, Skoda have kept pretty much to the knitting. It's handsome and pretty low key, but the clues are there, the wheels and brakes, and it sits 15 millimeters lower than other Octavia. So yes, it's sporty, but it's still practical. And here's the perfect example. Octavias are famous for this. In fact, all Skodas are the boot of this wagon. 640 litres. Fold those seats down, 1,700 litres. Let's see SUVs match that sort of space. There's also plenty of leg room for rear seat passengers. You know, it's the whole umbrella in the door, simply clever approach that centres on comfort and happiness for the people on board. Oh, and the RS front seats are also on point. And it's not just about the space, there's plenty of space age tech as well. Two big screens, including a configurable dash and a 10 inch display that takes care of pretty much everything. And you can go cable free in this car with wireless charging and CarPlay and Android Auto. So while the touchscreen takes care of a whole heap of functions, there are still some buttons. Skoda have resisted the temptation to go completely buttonless. And one button that does remain is the engine start. I think it's time to drive. Well, the first thing you notice when you get in the RS is the steering wheel. It's got three spokes, and a lot of the Skoda models for 21 have two spokes, and I'm a bit of a traditionalist, and I do love three spokes on a steering wheel. And then you drive it and you notice straight away the progressive steering system, nice and light and useful around town, but the gearing changes to make sure it's a more involving drive once you're on the open road. Speaking of the front wheel, there's some extra smarts at play, an XDS electronic locking front diff, which means this car can put all of the 370 newton meters in the right place, the right time on the corners. Well, we're talking about numbers. Another worth mentioning is the price. 57,990 is what you'll pay for the Octavia RS at Giltrap Skoda. And that includes a five year, 150,000 kilometer mechanical warranty. Some other numbers, you can hear a two liter turbocharged four cylinder, 180 kilowatts. That's 245 brake horsepower in the old measurement. Uh, going through a seven speed dual clutch gearbox. The result, zero to 100, 6.7 seconds. Of course, another Skoda trait is cars come loaded with awesome spec. And I'm reminded, being here on the motorway, <laughs> surrounded by vehicles, that this car comes absolutely loaded with safety equipment. Uh, for example, uh, front and rear autonomous braking and lane keep assist. So simply put, this car will stop me from hitting things in front, behind, and beside. So more smarts deliver the, the fun, if you like, and the ride, along with the XDS front diff. There's also dynamic chassis control. Now I'm on the motorway now, we're in comfort. Earlier on, having fun in sport mode. And you know, this new RS is a fraction longer than the last model, but you'd really need a ruler to be able to tell because in reality on the road, it actually feels more nimble. I know the world's in love with SUVs, but you get in a car like this with better performance, better looks, better handling, more load space, and you really wonder if that view is actually worth it. You know, Simply Clever is the Skoda tagline, and right across the range, Skodas make sense up here. All the practicality, the usefulness, the thoughtfulness, but you drive the Octavia RS and there's a whole other level. You see, it also makes sense right here. <laughs>